In this video, we'll make the calculator for a covered put option. So first, let's define the put option. We need a strike price and the strike price uh, could be equal to 400 and the premium for that uh, put option could be $100. And uh, now we have to define the stroke price and the uh, stroke price could start from zero and then we can have an increment of 10. And uh, I'll just, this is just a sim for the simulation because we wanna check how the profit will look like at different uh, uh, stroke prices. So this is how the stroke prices are defined now in the increment of 10, but you can define it in different increments. Now we have to calculate the profit from selling the put option. So this is profit from selling put option. Now profit from selling the put option will depend upon the strike price and the stroke price itself. So therefore we have to put a if command and uh, we are doing a logical test. The logical test is if the stroke price is greater than the strike price. So what will happen? Because we are selling a put option, if the stroke price is more than the strike price, then we will actually uh, make money and that money will be equal to the premium uh, that we got from selling that put option. So that will be equal to uh, the premium and uh, however if the stock price is below the uh, strike price in that case we will lose the money and that money will be equal to stock price minus the strike price plus we are still making the money which we got from selling the put option so I'm just still adding the premium back into the scenario and this is how it will look like so if the put option goes to zero if the stock price goes to zero, the total profit from the put option will be equal to strike price minus the premium we got from selling that put option. Now, if we if I drag it down, you can see that my reference to the stock is changing and the reference to the strike price and the premium is also changing. I don't want this strike references to change. So therefore, I'll just go to the first formula and I put a dollar sign in all these cases so if i put a dollar sign and now if i drag it down you can see that only reference for the stock price is changing so now i can keep it drag dragging down all the way down and this is how my profit from the selling a put option will look like now you can see that eventually at 300 dollars my profits are zero and then i start to make money and at 400 uh, I'm making $100 even and then eventually if the stock goes up the $100 will remain same. So why I'm having a break point break even point at 300 that is because uh, our premium is $100. So we are making 100 at 400 but then as the stock price goes down we are losing money uh, from that $100 we originally got from selling that put option and eventually at 300 we lost all the premium and now we start to have a loss. Now, again, suppose uh, now because this is the cover call option, we also need to have a stock. Uh, so we uh, so price uh, at which stock was shorted and that could be equal to uh, let's say if it's equal to uh, 600 now if I'm shorting the stock at 600 then profit from stock that will be equal to uh, stock price that that will uh, sorry strike price minus the stock price so so and uh, I'll just put a dollar sign here and now you can see if I drag it down um, so I'm making more money if the stock is down if the stock goes up I'm start to the profit starts to get down and eventually 
when uh, the stock is pretty high then i'm starting to lose money because i'm shorting the stock i'm basically selling the stock and then waiting for it to go down and eventually buy it later right so this is the profit from shorting the stock now um, what i need to do is uh, i need to calculate the scenario where uh, i am shorting the stock and i'm also selling a put option so all i have to do is i need to add them together so i'll say 600 plus 300 and this will eventually give me this numbers and how these numbers look like the best way to look at them is to plot them so let me first plot the first case so i'm plotting and i'll say insert and this is how my chart will look like if i short uh, a put option so this is sell put option and now you can see that uh, my my profit is from uh, the premium from that uh, put option and uh, if the stock goes down then i'm start to lose money and eventually my maximum loss is equal to stock price minus the strike price plus the premium money i got so this is uh, i'll just put the labels and uh, so that it's more clear so the vertical is profit and uh, horizontal is the stock price and this is the profit and now i'll i'll just take this copy this and uh, i'll paste it again and uh, i'll select this uh, plot and i change the reference to shorting the stock so now this is uh, what i get when i short the stock and this is uh, uh, my profit from there and uh, when i need to do the total all i have to do is i'll i'll put them together and i'll copy this again and i put this again back here and uh, i'll select this and uh, i'll change the reference to the total and this is how the the chart will look like for a covered put option and uh, now you can see that uh, uh, let me change this a little bit so the price where i shorted let's change it to be 1600 and uh, k1 to be uh, 1000 now this is how the plot will look like now you can see that uh, because i shorted the stock at 1600 i start to make profit when the stock goes below 1600 but eventually my profit uh, stops at the strike price because i i assume that the the stock will not go below 1000 it should go down but it will not go below 1000 therefore i should sell a put option there and then i sh can make uh, take advantage of the premium which is uh, available at that uh, price so let me compare this uh, scenario with just uh, if i would have shorted the uh, the stock itself and now you can see that uh, if i just short the stock i would have made let me change the premium to 200 so it's more clear now you can see that uh, if i just short the stock i'm making money when it short the stock goes down but it's little less if i uh, also sell a put option uh, although i am uh, capping down on the maximum profit i can do but if the stock remains above the strike price of 1000 but below the amount at which i shorted the stock i'm actually making more money and that is equivalent to the premium that 
the put option was avail available to be sold so basically in uh, in this case i'm making little bit of more money by capping down my maximum profits and uh, i hope this video help and this uh, sheet can be used uh, and you can make the sheet yourself from this video uh, however if you don't want to make this sheet yourself you want to buy this sheet um, then you can uh, we have provided a link below uh, for you to make the purchase for this sheet and i hope this video help and i'll see you next time